welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy and this is my art channel. I wanted to take a quick minute to do this little intro because this video is supposed to be the last video of my mini series. And I've said all along, oh, the last video, it's going to be short because of the technique that I'm doing. What I didn't take into account is all of the mixing that goes in with this particular technique. So as much as I tried editing it down, it just was not going to be shorter than like a 45 minute long video. And I didn't want to put you guys through that if all you're interested in is either seeing how I've mixed these paints, you know, thin them down to almost a water consistency, and then spoiler alert, technique that we're doing with these same paints is a pearl pour. So I had to take the Artist Loft Flow White that we've been using and turn that into a pearl recipe for our base coat. So it does take a little bit longer than the other. So what I've done is I've split this last video up into two parts. The first part is going to be the mixing and the thinning down and turning our white into a pearl base coat or yeah, base coat. And then part two of the video will be the actual painting. So I hope you'll stick around to watch both of them, but if you're just interested in seeing the recipe of how I'm, you know, doing this with the paints, then watch this video. If you're just interested in seeing the painting itself, then watch the next video. But like I said, I hope you'll watch both of them. Um, it's has been such a fun little series and I hope you have had fun with me and learned something along the way. So. For now, um, meet me at my canvas and we're going to thin down these paints and change the mechanism of one of them. I'll see you in just a minute. So, just to recap really quick, the very first video we did in this series, which I'm calling this series, the same paints with three totally different techniques by changing the consistency and sometimes changing the colors, but still within the same color palette. First painting we did was a street slash galaxy pour with very thick paints um, mixed with just Floetrol. And the second painting we did was a landscape swipe, thinning these paints down and making some colors. So I will link both of those videos um, throughout this video up in the little corner and also in the description box. So if you happen to miss those, please go back and watch them. So in this video, we're still using the exact same paints. These were the original containers that we mixed all the paint in. So I went ahead and just poured some of that in these little glass jars. And I'm again, we'll be showing you how I'm going to thin these down, but make sure you do not miss this part. We're going to be taking this, the artist loft flow. This is the original flow. Um, so we're going to be taking this and it's going to be our base coat, but we're going to totally change the mechanism. I guess you could call it of this paint to make it a reactive pearl pour. So I'm super excited about doing that. I'll show you all the ingredients that I use. If you are lucky enough to have a few, one or two bottles of the original Artist Law Flow, the recipe is super simple. Um, I will link that in the description box, but I will also link the recipe that I use if you um, have the Artist Loft soft body. These are still thick. We have to water those down. Um, so I just wanted to take a couple of these and show you what I do when I'm transferring them to a different container before I thin them down. Hope that's making sense. All right, so first of all, 
you can kind of see, I'm trying to get my lights better so y'all can see. You can see how it's kind of separated and then all this dry paint is up around the edge. So you want to make sure, you, you know, you try not to get any of that, but stir it really, really, really well. But if you do get any of those little flakes of dry paint, that's why I do this next step. Take your little glass cup, take a dollar store uh, strainer. Goodness, it's late in the night, y'all. All right, so you take that, stir it really good, and then you're just going to pour some of this in here. You don't need a whole lot. One, we're doing a pearl pour. Two, we are going to thin these paints way, way, way down. Um, so the little bit that's in this um, glass jar is going to probably more than triple. So you just get that down in there. And then what I like to do, I'm going to show you this too. I don't know if you guys can tell. You see all those little dry particles of dry paint. If you didn't strain that after paint's been sitting for a while, that's going to get all in your painting. And I just keep a bucket of water and rinse that out. But I'm going to get all this cleaned up, and then we're going to come back, and I'll show you exactly what products I use and just how thin we are going to make these paints. And then I'm going to show you how I turn this into a reactive base coat for a beautiful pearl painting. So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I've got everything uh, lined up. I think this is the way I want to layer my colors. So just like in the last painting or the last video, we're going to thin these down um, using GAC 800 and the Liquitex um, pouring medium, the one in the gray label. So that part's pretty much going to be the same as we did in the landscape swipe, but the biggest ingredient that we're going to be adding to these paints is water. Um, when you do a pearl pour, your paints are going to be literally almost as thin as water. Um, you're just going to watch this. I'm not really going to measure because, um, again, these paints were the original paints that were just mixed basically two to one with Floetrol and paint. So I'm just going to give, you know, hefty squirts of the uh, GAC 800 and the Liquitex pouring medium. Um, it's the base coat that we're going to be measuring. So again, that has to be much more precise than this. This is more about your consistency being very, very thin so that that base coat can come up and react through these paints. If these are too thick, that base coat can't break through thick paints in order to get the beautiful pearls that you want. Okay, so again, I'm just going to be squirting. So that was my GAC 800, just a squirt, probably, if I had to guess, I probably put about. Hmm, maybe almost a tablespoon. Then I'm going to put a little bit more of the Liquitex because again, I don't want these breaking apart as thin as we're going to make them. And I'm just going to stir that up really, really good. I'm going to do that across the board with my colors before I add the water. you never deliver How many times all the words that you said had me mixing the sweet with the bitter With this, um, it's going to be more about your consistency. And like I said in the last one, when we thin down the paints for the, um, the swipe, especially the deco art, you know, the cheaper, less expensive paints, if I just added water as thin as we are going to make these paints, there's nothing to hold 
all that pigment together and they're just going to crack and break apart. So you've got to have those binders. Okay, here comes the part. And again, I'm not going to do all of these. I'm just going to do one or two. Um, and then I'll off camera, I'll go ahead and get the rest ready. We'll come back, show you how to do the pearl um, recipe. Let me show you where we're at right now. This is no water added yet. This is just paint, Floetrol, Liquitex pouring medium, and GAC 800. Okay. Some are thicker than others, but overall, you know, they're about them. Keep trying to get some that light so y'all can see. They're they're about the same. Okay. So now the key to adding water. If I just take this water and I pour as much as I'm going to need in here, I'm going to be stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. And I probably really won't get my paints mixed as smoothly as I want. I will have clumps of lighter paint, darker paint. So you, again, I'm not measuring this part, guys. We'll measure the, um, the pearl base coat, but I'm just going to add little bits at a time and stir very 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 well i will never forget i've heard so many of the artists that do such beautiful pearl pours sarah taylor and tara lombardi and of course michelle um, galley and oh goodness there's so many oh kathleen osmore makes beautiful um she used to do a lot of pearl pours too so uh dwight pours there's just so many but I just remember them always saying, when you think your paints are too thin for a pearl pour, add more water. <laughs> so we're going to add a little bit more. You do not want there to be any mound or any trace. Okay. I'm going to show you. You're going to be able to see a little tiny, I'm going to call it more of a remnant, than a, a trace or a mound. So, you see that. And I'm going to do a little circle. So you can see where that circle goes, but it is almost instantly flat and sinks right in. That's the consistency that you want your puddle colors or your layered colors. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and Go ahead and do the rest of these and then we're going to come back and we're going to make the pearl base coat so hang tight all right real quick i'm going to show you one more time i've got all these thinned out now i'm going to say too um if you notice i've got metallic 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 just a little this is the uh, quinacridone quinacridone nicoiso gold but I added just a teeny tiny bit of that folk art fire opal. So it's a little metallic. But reason I say that is metallics can definitely be tricky, um, you know, when you're doing a pearl pour. So I'm trying to not, it doesn't always have to be this way, but I'm trying to kind of do a metallic, um, non-metallic, metallic, non-metallic. Non -metallic. So, okay. All right. Now. We're going to get these moved out of the way. Again, I want to kind of kind of keep them in the order that I want to lay them down. It's not crucial, but all right, here we go. All right. Then I'm going to take the original, um, and there's nine ounces in here. Okay, so keep that in mind. Nine ounces, which is uh, two to one, two parts artist loft flow white, no, one part, sorry, one part artist law flow white, two parts flow troll, okay? So again, I'm going to stir it really good, and then we're going to strain it into our big cup. You see all those chunks? I don't know if you guys could see it, especially because my hand was probably in the way, but there was big chunks in there. So I'm only going to scrape around the bottom. I'm not going to scrape the top of this cup. Okay. This is what I'm talking about 
if you don't strain paint. See all those paint particles sitting in there? You don't want that in your painting. But I need about four more ounces of Floetrol. So I'm just going to take my little cup with measurements and measure out. See if I can see with these lights. About four more ounces. I'm going to grab my little strainer again. So, and make sure, because again, these paints are so thin. Any little um, bit of residue or clumps or anything like that, it's going to show in this painting. So, all right, on to the next. I'm going to stir that really good and then on to the next ingredient. So, hang tight. But I know what you say. No need. Then, our secret ingredient. is the Bare Premium Interior Exterior High Gloss Enamel. It's the Deep Face 8300. So we're gonna put a half an ounce of each, half an ounce of the Liquitex Pouring Medium. Okay, and then a half an ounce of the GAC 800. And then I'm going to stir that up really good. I don't normally like, like, dumping all my ingredients in at one time. I like adding a few ingredients and stirring. Adding some ingredients and stirring. Okay. All right, so now we're going to add our satin enamel, which is this. So I'm going to just scoop some out and scrape it in here. And I'm going to only add about a half an ounce of this because I'm going to um, end up adding a little bit of DecoArt satin enamel as well. If you don't want to use the DecoArt satin enamel, then um, use more of the bare satin enamel. Okay, I'm gonna get that all mixed up. And stir it up really, really, really good because that's gonna be real clumpy if you don't get it mixed up really well. Looks plain and you're making me shake and shiver. You're shining, you shoot. Got that good and stirred up. So then, like I said, for this one, I'm going to add, again, the reason I personally am going to add this, I don't always add the DecoArt satin enamel when I use this recipe, but again, because I am, I have so many metallics in um, my color palette, I'm going to add a little bit of this to give it a little extra oomph. Of course, I meant to show you just all that oil that sits on top. If you've used the DecoArt Satin Enamel before, you know how, how it separates. Um, I'm trying to do this video or this series. Like I know a lot of my subscribers are artists themselves, so you know a lot of what I'm already saying. But with this incredible mind-blowing influx of new subscribers that I have gotten which I don't even know how to thank you guys other than saying thank you from the bottom of my heart um, I haven't gotten to know all of you guys yet so I don't know how many of you guys are seasoned artists or just beginning so I wanted this little series 
you know, to be instructional and informational and a teaching if in case you don't know. So, all right. I'm going to only put about half of this in here. Again, I don't want too much. Okay. Almost there. Hang in there with me, guys. I know I said this was going to be shorter, but it's the mixing of this that, and I will try to edit out when I'm editing. I'll try to edit out the things that just aren't important. Okay, we're going to stir that up again. We're going to be adding probably at least six to seven ounces of water. And again, we're going to do it slow. We're not going to do it fast or all at one time, I guess. Fill that up with about eight ounces of water. Again, this is, like I said, this is that one recipe that you, you kind of want to measure, you know, or I, at least I do. All right. And while stirring, I'm going to add little bits at a time. Mix, 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 mix very well. I will speed this part up for you, but just know I am adding, you can see how little I added, but I'll speed it up for time's sake. Time, as ready as I can be this time, I'll be running free. show you guys. We're still not thin enough, so let me show you. I know it looks like water, but it's still, you can still see, or hopefully you guys can. It's very hard to show them white, but I can still see a trace, and it's still resting on top it's not making like an indention when I drip that off. Okay. So, so far, I've added about five, about five and a half ounces of water. So, we're going to add a little bit more. Again, stirring slow. Probably should have made this video a two part video, and I may. I've been afraid. 